Hey there, Salt Strong Nation. This is Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here with the boys from Salt Strong on a blustery day. And we're down here in downtown Alamorada putting together a bite here up on the shallow flats. And what we're going to do today is we are going to get up here in the shallows and we're going to fish this live shrimp that you see here with a couple split shots on some light leader. And you can see we're up on a local flat here. It's only about two feet deep and it's calm up here because it's rough everywhere else. And we're going to send these baits out, out in front of the boat, down current, downwind. And we're going to set them on the bottom. And then we're going to pepper this area with some broken pieces of shrimp for chum to put a little smell and see if we can get some bites. What you might catch out here, you don't know. It could be a bonefish, bonnethead shark, boxfish, mangrove snapper. The list is long. But the reality is it's a pretty crappy weather day and we're close to home and we're trying to get it done and get some bites. And this is a great way to do it. So when we pepper the area, as we do, you get a handful of shrimp. Woo, livey. Oh, oh one boy. got away. And all you're trying to do, folks, is just break these in small pieces, three or four pieces of shrimp, and you pepper them out in front of the boat, going downwind, down current, to put some smell out there, to bring in a bonefish, a shark, any of the creatures that come in here, and then they find your bait. And that's the trick. So every few minutes, just a handful of pieces left, center, right, all the way around so that all your baits are in the zone. Gosh, that's pretty out here. See how nice that looks? So good. Now we just need a bonefish or a shark or a snapper. Somebody come in and bite. And so how did you pick this spot? It's a question we always get. Why this spot? So today, with the conditions we have, with the wind howling and, and the tide going the same way, I know that this flat can be very productive on the high tide, and it also is easy accessible for my bay boat. Because a boat of this size, you have to be very careful when you put it on the flat. You notice we used our trolling motor. We did not motor in with the big motor. And I know as the tide comes up, no matter what, we have an escape route to get off to the deep water, which is a dark green. Minimal chance of us disturbing the bottom in any unprofessional way. And we're close to home, productive, tide, wind, sun, everything going the right direction for us. All we need now is the fish. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna rig this very, very simple, all right? Here we got an Eagle Claw one aught bait saver hook. See the barbs on the back? Comes in handy to hold that shrimp on. Light piece of leader, 20 pound. A Hollywood anti-slip knot, or a uni knot, or a cinch knot, or whatever one you want to call it. You get five or six turns here, up and through and back. That knot's been around longer than me. All right, cinch it down good and tight. Always pull your tag in, never use your teeth. All right, make sure your tag ends tight. Give it a little clip. Always leave a tad little bit just in case Joe gets a big fish on and make sure it comes down tight. You never want your knot to slip. Now, we got to keep the bait on the bottom. So the least intrusive way to do it, a couple good old fashioned split shots. Now, if it was nice and calm and you were doing this, you'd probably get away with one. But since we only fish on what's it like a hurricane day, we're going to fish with at least two and see if that'll get the job done. So split shots are pretty easy. They get up on the line in here, get it in there nice and tight all the way to the back, and then with your fancy pliers, crimp that real good. And you don't want the split shot right up on top of the shrimp, just because you may have a chance of catching that bonefish, and he's a smart guy, right? So when that bonefish is swimming around, you keep these up maybe six inches or so from the hook, so that the shrimp's over here, the weight's over here, the bonefish doesn't know they're together. Now, how do you rig the shrimp? A thousand ways to do it. You can pinch a tail off, you can leave it on. When you're up on this flat downtown, we like to leave the tail on because we've already peppered the area with some small pieces. Because you're going to cast this, you want to have it on here the best you can. So you start in the back, thread it up nice and tight, high in there, get all of it, and then come up out the side, straighten the shrimp up, and there you go. Your hook's hiding inside the shrimp, as much as that bait saver can be to keep that on there. Your barb's exposed, so if somebody eats it, you got a chance to get him hooked. It's gonna lay on the bottom, two split shots, and kick around a little bit. Now, technique out here is, hey, there's a shark. Look at that bonnet head shark right here. Give me your rod real quick. Watch how we do this. This is right, there's two of them. You guys see them right here close by? We're gonna flip this shrimp out here close to them. See if he turns around. Got another one sliding in here. Here comes a third one. Look at these guys, they're everywhere. Let's see if we can catch one. Watch that shrimp. 
Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Think he just ate it. Got him, fish on. Woo! Pull and drag right next to the boat, slid in here, and that's live action. It's better than Turtle Man, what we got going on here this morning. Woo! Pull and drag. Can't beat that on a day where you should actually be home in bed, but you're out here fishing. Fantastic. Here he comes. One of the greatest fish to catch in the shallow water. All right, so we're going to come down here and let him go. Now, you got the family out, you got the kids out. This is one of the funnest fish you can catch, and also, for the most part, he's safe to grab, as long as you don't put your fingers in his mouth. Got you. Look at that, hooked him right in the lip. He's clear. This is a female shark, no claspers. Such a cool fish up close. Big time shrimp and crab eater. Just an awesome fish to catch. All right, make sure you let them go. When you let these guys go, keep your hands clear from the mouth. All right, one, two, three, off he goes. That right there, fish fans, is a great fish to catch for all anglers out here in the shallows. And again, we're doing this downtown Alamorada on a really blustery, windy day. We're having a ball out here. That's what it's all about. Any questions on how to get it done when you're here with your family and the weather's less than perfect, you can always find me, Captain Mark Holly Wood Johnson, on SaulStrong.com and always FloridaKeysFunFishing.com as well. Tight lines.